Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to discuss a very important topic of this uh, unit that is method to find out inverse Laplace transform. And under this topic, we have three different methods with the help of which we are going to find out the inverse Laplace transform. Okay, so let us see these methods. So the very first method to find out the inverse Laplace transform is partial fraction method. The very second method is the convolution theorem method called it as a method of convolution. And the very third one is use of properties. Use of properties of Laplace transform. Use of properties of Laplace transform. Okay. So, these are the three different uh, methods that we have under this topic and we are going to discuss about the very first method that is the partial fraction method. So, in partial fraction method, there would be uh, three different types of fractions would be given to you. One would be just uh, linear factors would be given to you in the uh, denominator, then uh, sometimes uh, repeated linear and sometimes quadratic and sometimes the combination of any of these three or two okay so that we have already discussed in the earlier so let us start with this first one that is the partial fraction method so let me take an example on this so i am just uh, writing the example here so the example under the very first method is find find L inverse of 1 upon S minus 3 S minus 6 and S plus 2 so this is the very first example that we are going to discuss under this topic so we have to find out the inverse Laplace transform of this and we have already written that we are going to take the partial fraction method to solve it. So we are going to apply the partial fraction method. Okay. So what you need to do is you just uh, need to uh, write this as a partial fraction. So as you can see, we have linear factors. So we can, we can make uh, this uh, one upon s minus 3 into s minus 6 into s plus 2 is equal to how one can write this one as yes a upon s minus 3 plus b upon s minus 6 plus c upon s minus sorry s plus 2 okay now once you have this you can just uh, write uh, like this the given fraction and now you just have to find out the values of a b and c So let me tell you one very simple formula uh, That will reduce the calculation part and you can directly write this one as okay now see This is uh, the given fraction. We have written as a partial one. Okay now see you have to find out the value of a, b and c. So let us concentrate for the time being on a. So we have to find out the value of a. How you can find out the value of a? a can be found out by putting s is equal to 3 in the left hand side. Okay. So the moment you put s is equal to 3 in the left hand side, excluding this factor, so what it should be? It should be 3 minus 6 into 3 plus 2. So what is it? Minus 3 into 5. So 1 by so minus 15. So value of a is 1 upon minus 15. Simple. Likewise for b and c. Okay. So how to find out b? You just have to put c is, s is equal to 6. So when you put s is equal to 6 excluding this factor it should be 6 minus 3 into 6 plus 2. So what is it? This is 8, this is 3. 3 8s are 24. So value of B is 1 upon 24. And what about this C? To get the value of C, you just have to substitute 
s is equal to minus 2 excluding this factor from the left so it should be minus 2 minus 3 into minus 2 minus 6 so this is minus 8 this is minus 5 so 8 5 is a 40 minus minus plus so what is the value of c 1 by 40 okay so let me write it now So the values of A that we have found it out comes out to be minus 1 by 15 S minus 3 okay then what what value of B we have uh, getting we got the value of B to be 1 by 24 S minus 6 and at last we got the value of C what value of C we are getting we are getting the value of C to be 1 by 40 correct. So these are the values that we are getting it, okay? Now, this is uh, 1 upon S minus 3 into S minus 6 into S plus 2. Now finding out the Laplace inverse of this is same as finding out the Laplace inverse of this, simple. So you can write, therefore, Laplace inverse of S minus 3 into s minus 6 into s plus 2 is equal to what is it you can apply the linearity property constant outside and take the inverse Laplace transform of function so it should be minus 1 by 15 Laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 3 easy now plus 1 by 24 Laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 6 right plus 1 by 40 Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 2 simple now just find out the inverse of it so this is minus 1 by 15 L inverse of 1 upon s minus a is e to the power plus a d what is a here value of a is 3 so this is e to the power 3 plus 1 by 24 L inverse of this is e to the power plus 60 and this is 1 by 4 0 this is Laplace inverse of e to the power minus 2 see the very simple problem that one can get so at last don't forget to write down the final answer therefore L inverse of 1 upon s minus 3 into s minus 6 into s plus 2 is same as what is it minus 1 by 15 e to the power 3t plus 1 by 24 e to the power 60 plus 1 by 40 e to the power minus 2t and this is nothing but the required Laplace transform of the given function okay so very simple problem we have taken now let us take uh, a little bit uh, complicated problem not exactly com uh, complicated but somehow as compared to this uh, problem number one okay so just let me write down that problem first problem that I am going to take here is uh, yeah this one find L inverse of what is it s square plus 2s plus 3 upon s square plus 2s plus 2 into s square plus 2s plus 5 now when you look at this example you may find this example to be uh, rather very difficult isn't it but this is the simplest problem okay you can just uh, do some substitution and then uh, after substitution this problem becomes very simple and after that you can apply the partial fraction to that one okay so for the sake of simplicity I am going to write 
this uh, s square plus 2s is equal to say p as you can see we have s square plus 2s common throughout this all the three terms okay so what we need to find now therefore l inverse of s square plus 2s plus 3 upon s square plus 2s plus 2 into s square plus 2s plus 5 is equal to what is it can you help me out in writing down this is same as l inverse of s square plus 2s is p so this is p plus 3 upon what is it p plus 2 into p plus 5 now this becomes very simple isn't it now as you can see you can easily write down this fraction as a partial sum okay so i am going to uh, take this uh, i will consider this and apply the partial fraction so consider consider what p plus 3 upon p plus 2 into p plus 5 now as you can see this these are the linear factors and we can easily solve problem on that so this is what is it a upon p plus 2 plus b upon p plus 5 now to get the value of a what we can do do the smart work to get the value of a, I am going to put p is equal to minus 2 in the left hand side. So what I will be getting, a is equal to, what I will be getting, put a is equal to, sorry, to get the value of a, put p is equal to minus 2. So this is minus 2 plus 3 upon, this is, you just uh, forget about this term, minus 2 plus 5. So this is 1 by 3. Simple. Likewise, you can find out the value of b. How one can find out the value of b? To get the value of b, I will put b is equal, to, sorry, p is equal to minus 5 in the left, excluding this term. So what is it? Minus 5 plus 3 upon minus 5 plus 2. So what is it? This is minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. Minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. So this is 2 by 3 easy now after getting the values of this uh, 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 what we gonna do here is uh, is that correct yeah a is equal to 1 by 3 and b is equal to 2 by 3 right so now i can write this one as this one therefore p plus 3 upon p plus 2 into p plus 5 is equal to what is it a what is a a is 1 by 3 upon p plus 2 and what is my b b is 2 by 3 p plus 5 very simple okay now we can make use of this okay so let me rub this now So in place of this, now I will write, I can write 1 by 3 common, okay, so 1 by 3 outside, L inverse of, what it should be, L inverse of, 1 upon P plus 2, what is my P, P is S square plus 2S, so S square plus 2S plus 2, plus 1 by 3 outside this is 2 upon s square plus 2s plus 5 okay now solve this further you have to do some adjustment over here okay so now you see here i'm gonna write this one as 1 by 3 l inverse of This one, I am writing this one as 1 upon s square plus 2s. 2 can be written as 1 plus 1. So, they writing 1 plus 1. Simple. Plus, 
टू टाइम्स एल इनवर्स ऑफ दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू एस प्लस फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन प्लस फोर ओके सिंपल ओके एंड द ब्रैकेट कम्प्लीट सो दिस इज वन बाय थ्री वट इज दिस दिस यू कैन राइट नाइसली एज एल इनवर्स ऑफ वन अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस सॉरी यू कैन राइट दिस वन एज एस प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर एंड यू कैन राइट दिस वन एज टू टाइम्स एल इनवर्स ऑफ वन बाय एस प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस टू स्क्वायर राइट नाउ दीज आर वेरी सिंपल और एलिमेंट्री लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो वॉट आर दी लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दिस वन बाय थ्री दिस इज यू हैव टू अप्लाई शिफ्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी ओवर हियर एंड राइट एस प्लस वन सो दिस इज ई टू द पावर माइनस वन टी एल इनवर्स ऑफ वन अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू ई टू द पावर माइनस टी एल इनवर्स ऑफ वन अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू स्क्वायर ओके नाउ दिस इज वन बाय थ्री ई टू द पावर माइनस टी ओके वॉट इज लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दिस This is Laplace transform of sine. So this is sine t. A is one plus. You can just multiply by one by three. So this is two by three. Uh, inverse of this is one by a sine a t. So this two get cancelled with this. So at last, what values we are getting over here? You can take. Uh, Okay, so you can take uh, e to the power minus t common from here. Okay, so at last we'll be getting the answer to this is one by three e to the power minus t in bracket. We remain with what is it? Sine t, and this is plus sine two t. simple and this is the final answer that we have for the given function so i hope the problem that we have taken under this uh, learning video is uh, clear to you and uh, in case of any doubt you can contact me so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you